Okay, quick video about what I have discovered so far. I'm messing with plugs, um, I don't know if that's X358 and X357 or something like that. Um, what I basically want to do is I want to convince myself that I know how to control the contactor. So <clears throat> the way I understand it, Chevy Volt has three contactors. They have a contactor for the positive lead. By the way, I've got... Not only do I have the fuse and the disconnect out, but then I'll also have this relay module disconnected. So not only are these wires dead, but they're disconnected. So everything should be safe over here. Um, okay, so what I want to be able to do is, uh, I, I think there's three contactors on here. One closes the connection with the positive here to the positive coming from the battery. One closes the negative here to the negative on the battery. Right, so this goes directly to the like inverter or motor, so to speak. So this is the main power draw for the drivetrain. Um, but then you also have these three high power connectors down here, a uh, high voltage that I would like to be able to use. And uh, I'll just share with you what I've discovered so far. So um, first of all, this on this connector over here on pin one, two, three, four, five. I think. Let's see. Uh, no, wrong one five it says ground okay great so i've got my ground pin there but then it also says ground on pin 10 uh, so i just want to let you know for anybody else watching this when i use that pin 10 as a ground it does not work for closing the contactor so that's my first lesson learned um i don't i don't know if that's a it just labels them both as ground in the service manual I don't know if it's like a different ground for a different system or a different relay, but so far it's not the ground for the contactor. So that's point one. So I've got ground on here. Sorry, let me get my multimeter to behave. So <clears throat> when I hook up ground here and then I'm probing, uh, I'm putting like 13 volts to a couple of different pins over here, ultimately three of them, and you can see... Um, one of them is labeled high voltage plus relay control, high voltage neg uh, negative relay control. Okay, so that's going to be the main two that 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 closes here. And uh, here I'll show you that. Well, this is kind of hard trying to hold the phone, but um, I've got my meter in continuity. And when I turn it on, you can hear a click. And right now, the uh, one side of my meter is going to positive, and if I go there I get continuity don't have continuity here and then if I move my uh, meter oh this is so difficult trying to do this in one hand um, then you can see that the negative is also uh, uh, con you know continuous so the contactor the positive and the negative contactor have closed to here now what I wanted to do is figure out well how do I control these one thing that's interesting is these two connectors. So you can see this is the negative side. I've still got my probe up here. That one's connected with the main negative contactor. This one's connected with the main negative. And if I move this to the positive, okay, and test the other side of these, that one's closed. And that one's closed. So by just closing the same positive and negative contactor, you will enable the feeds on these two. Uh, but you won't enable the feed on this one. See, you'll get um, you'll get positive voltage there, but not here. And what this appears to be, and I think this is because this one goes to the charger, and I'll probably use it also for my for my charger, hopefully. And uh, and that one is controlled by uh, high voltage battery three plus relay control, which is pin seven. So what I can do is if I turn off my power supply, you'll hear the contactors click back off. I'm gonna move one of these, like maybe the negative one over to pin. Sorry that my phone's not focusing, but I'm gonna move this on to pin seven. And I've just got some pins here that are, I think are for this connector, but I've got heat shrink over them right now. I don't have, these are the plugs that are supposed to be used, but I haven't made plugs yet. 
So now when I turn it on, I should get positive voltage here. So because the, the main positive contactor will do this and these two. And then when I do this three, uh, what's labeled as high voltage three on pin seven, I should get the another contactor to go to there. So let me turn this on. I hear some clicks. And now I get continuity there. So um, I just wanted to share with folks, that's what I've learned so far. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is try to probe out the pre-charge resistor and um, check that I'm getting the resistance I, spec uh, I, I expect whenever I close out one. Okay, follow up. So I did. So this says that the pre-charge, I'm sorry. Now it's the pre-charge relay. Now for some reason it says PWM signal. I don't quite know why it says PWM signal. I'm definitely not planning on sending it a PWM signal. So I hope that I can just send it 100% duty cycle to be on. And I mean, if it's a relay, I don't understand what a PWM means for that exactly. So it says it should be on pin six. So I just moved over my negative, um, the one that was on the negative contactor to move to the pin six. And now, and I've got one end of my lead on the negative post coming from the, so now when I turn on my power supply and I test here, um, I get about 70 ohms, which I believe is what the, uh, I believe the pre-charge uh, resistor on the Chevy Volt is 70 ohms, I think. So anyway, so far so good. That that pre-charge relay resistor on the Volt is on the negative lead. So if I understand right, and they have a sequence, um, they have a sequence that they list out in the service manual. Let's see if I can find it. Um, this is the circuit diagram, and you can see that the pre-charge is across the mains negative, okay? And then there's two on the positive, one for the charger, which is coming over here from that third plug like we saw, and then the main positive, which goes to the drive and the other two plugs. So, um, so that means when they close the positive and then they close the pre-charge the thing limiting the current going into those inverter capacitors is going through here that's what's making it take its time and then once uh you know your vcu whatever detects the right voltage should be able to close this one um, and i think it says uh, printed this out contactor close sequence is to close the plug in charge positive which i don't know if it always does that or if it always does it when it's positive but anyway this is what it says then the main positive, then the the pre-charge negative contactor, which is that relay we just did. Then here it waits. So effectively, all three of these are going to get closed immediately. Then it's going to wait for the bus voltage to rise. Then the main negative contactor gets closed. Then the um, pre-charger opens, the pre-charger relay. So anyway... Um, I hope that helps someone. Uh, I wanted to come out here and probe these pins for myself and make 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 it make sense in my head. So I hope that that helps someone else that might be messing with a Chevy Volt battery.